Welcome back everybody, Driver53 here, and I've got another short video on precision farming in Farming Simulator 19. And today, we are going to be looking at soybeans again. And I know that soybeans don't require any nitrogen, but I'm just curious if you get any type of penalty for being over fertilized on soybeans. And it's consistent with what we've done on all the other um, tests. So let's go ahead and jump over to the map and take a quick look at what we have. So here are the soil types once again. We have silty clay, loam, sandy loam, and loamy sand. And you can see that I've got my four strips here in the different soil types. If we come back over here to precision farming, we're going to look at the pH. Everything is the way that it should be. We've got the little spot down here, but we've gone around that. No problem. Next is going to be the nitrogen. And you can see... 20 all the way to 200 with my zero on the outside like I said I know that this requires zero but I'm wondering is there a penalty for being over fertilized so say you come out of a crop and you've got like 80 100 or even 120 left in the ground can you put soybeans right behind it and the reason that this is going to be really really interesting is because if there's no penalty then you're going to get a gain from this. We know that you get a 40 point gain. So say you come out of a crop and you've got 120 in the ground, right? And then you come back and then you do this. Now you're going to 160. And then you go right back and plant and you're not going to need any fertilizer for this one or that crop. It's two whole harvests that you're not going to need any fertilizer on. That's going to be crazy if this works out the way that I'm thinking it's going to. So let's get out here. Let's get this harvested and then we'll take a look at our map. All right, so we got all the soybeans off the field in the hopper. So let's go ahead and take a look at the maps once again. All right, here are the soil types again. And what we're expecting to see is 125% on loam. We're expecting to see 100% on sandy loam, 90% on silty clay, and down here on loamy sand is 80%. So let's take a look at the pH. Everything did what it was supposed to. We went around the lake right here. We're all good. No problems at all there. Let's take a look at the nitrogen. Awesome. So this did what I've seen previously whenever we're up here. So what happened here, and this is gonna prove once again um, with the other video, but at zero, we gained everywhere so our 20s are now gone away our 40s are now gone away so on the 20s we should start seeing the 60 kick out and there we go so we see that and then the 80s we're gonna see that and it's gonna be a 20 step or 20 point step all the way up so that's awesome now the really interesting thing right here is at 180 we're seeing we're over fertilized absolutely over so this is the point at which your nitrogen i don't know if it disappears but it just doesn't register any longer as to what's going on like i said we've seen this on a couple other tests in the past and i don't have a solution on how to get it back right now um that is going to be another test later can we plan another crop right behind it take out some of the nitrogen then it comes back um but yeah it's really interesting so you're gonna see that up there in this area right here you can see on our 180 and our 200 all the way across so but if we kick off the 180 you can see that and the 200 you can see that so i'm going to turn all these back on and it's just really interesting that that's doing that and like I said, I'm not sure as to why. Um, that is going to be another test for another day. If you guys have any suggestions, comments, anything uh, about how to fix this or what's going on, definitely let me know. I haven't experimented with it a whole lot. Um, and if you have, definitely just throw it down in the comments below. And uh, let us know your experiences, what you're finding out with it. So next is going to be yield. And I've got a feeling, based on this of what we're going to see. So you guys ready? Here we go. 
that is exactly what I thought we would see. So what we're seeing here is this strip all the way right here from the 8 all the way to the 9 is 125. So it doesn't matter what your nitrogen level is, obviously it's going to go and you're not going to get penalized for it also. So if you already got 120 in the field, it's all right. You're only going to get 40 more points. You know, 160, you are going to be okay because we can see right here, this is the 160 row and it's still good. Now, like I said, probably a 180 and 200, you're going to be good too, but I don't know. I, I'm just not, I mean, you're not going to get a, a negative on your yield, right? But it's going to be very, very interesting as to what, uh, what we can get out of that. So next is going to be our silty, I'm sorry, our sandy loam at 100. So we're all good there. After that is going to be silty clay up here at the top, and that's 90. And then we're going to come back down here for the loamy sand, and this should be 80. And there we go. Perfect. So all the yield is exactly where it's supposed to be. You're not getting penalized anything at all for having an outrageous amount of um, fertilizer on your crops for soybean. So that's really, really good. Uh, because like I said, if you've got a crop that you just came out of and it's hot or any, you know, any nitrogen, and then you back it up with soybeans, you could, in theory, if you pick the right crop, get right where you need to be at for that next crop to start and not have to put any fertilizer down at all. Really, really interesting. And you're going to make all your, all your money on your crop. So I see this as a win-win. It's awesome. Hopefully we can get the, uh, other part figured out about why your nitrogen is not showing up here and it could just be that it's too high right it's too high and it's like no I don't have a, a color for that value um, which could be the problem so because the interesting thing is we saw that these were still here whenever we did we checked earlier right at 200 they're still there it's not until after you harvest and it puts more in the ground so that obviously has to be what it is. So hopefully we can take a little bit out and then we'll be good. But I'm going to call it a day. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it or you learned something today, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you want to stay up to date on my latest precision farming videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're over there, go ahead and hit the notification bell too. Have a great day, everybody. And until next time, this is Driver53 signing off.